Hey guys, so today we are going to be making some thank you cards and I am using this marbled background stamp set that is brand new and I've been dying to use. I just love the look. And I'm bringing in my thankful thoughts. If you've watched my video, you've seen this stamp set before. Here are all the new in colors, Fresh Fig, Powder Pink, Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, and Tranquil Tide that we'll be using. And that same thing for the colored cardstock, those same colors. And then I have white card bases. So here I am taking the stamp set, or the stamp, and as you can see, my stamp is a little bit bigger than my stamping block. This is not a Stampin' Up! stamping block, so if you have the biggest Stampin' Up! stamping block, this stamp will fit. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to take each of the colors, starting from lightest to darkest, and inking up my ink pad. Just making sure I get full coverage. I'm probably adding more ink than necessary. And then I will take the coordinating cards, card base, card panel. So this is powder pink. And I'm going to take a scrap paper. You could also use a brayer, a brayer and go over it. I'm just using my hand. It works just fine. And peel it off. And there we go. Beautiful. If you have tried or liked the shaving cream effect, this is a uh, perfect stamp for that. If you don't want to mess with the shaving cream. <laughs> and so next I am taking Lemon Lime Twist and doing the same thing. Inking it up and then placing my Lemon Lime Twist card panel over the ink. The stamp pad. And then taking that same scrap piece of paper and running my hand over the whole stamp. You want to make sure when you do this that you don't accidentally move your cardstock. So there's no, it doesn't look like it's smeared. And I just make sure to go over the whole stamp. And this is where it's perfect looking, but a brayer would be easier for some if they didn't want to um, worry about spots not being covered as much. So here I'm doing Berry Burst and there that is. It's gorgeous. And then I am bringing in Fresh Fig. And then finally I will do Tranquil Tide. Which is really nice. So then I'm going to take my Thankful Thoughts stamp set, and I this is my favorite thank you stamp set from Stampin' Up. It's actually, they have several. This is the only one I have. This is the one I liked the most, even though I do like the other ones. And I'm stamping up using the coordinating in colors, stamping it up on white cardstock. And then I'm going to take my stitched shaped framelit dies, the circle. I believe this is the largest circle in that set. And I cut all of them out. And then I'm going to take my adhesive foam strips. I'm sorry, <laughs> Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. What in the world am I talking about? And pop those up on each of the sentiments circles. And go ahead and adhere my card panel to my white card base. And then I brought in the Flourished Thinlets dies. It's a beautiful die set that's full of flourishes, some greenery, flowers. I believe there is a coordinating stamp set, but you can buy that separately. And I'm going to be using this die. And I went ahead and used my black cardstock to cut out one for each card. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adhere my sentiment circle on top of my little flourish. And this is probably the difficult way to do it. I would not do it this way. And I show you another way to do it in my next card. But I go ahead and hear that. And then some of it is stuck to my sentiment, the dimensional. And then I go ahead and flip it and add some glue for my fine tip glue pen. Now, I was making this harder than it needs to be. So I would suggest not doing it this way. So there's that card. And we're done. I'm going to move on to this one. Go ahead and hear it. And then I adhere my little flourish piece first and I add glue 
just in the bigger areas of the die cut. Also, when you cut this die, I highly recommend the precision plate. I ran it through just my regular plates and it didn't really want to cut all the way through. And the precision plate helped out a lot. And all supplies will be listed below if you're interested in checking them out. So go ahead and pop that down. And then here I go ahead and take my sentiment circle with <laughs> a mistake on the back, but nobody will see. Stamping mistake. And go ahead and hear that down. And then that will complete this card. So really easy, really simple, quick thank you cards if you are in need of some. And so here I'm going to show you each one. You can see a little bit of the glue shine. It's just not completely dry. So I really like the way this looks. I love the way the black pops on each of those colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. All supplies will be listed below. I'd absolutely love if you were one of my customers, if you do not have a demonstrator, and I appreciate your support and business. If you have any questions about any of the supplies I used, please let me know. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to, forget to use that hostess code if your order is under 150. If you use the hostess code, you will get this month's card kit club from me. And I will link that video at the end. So I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.